Hi guys, Joe Stevenson here with my purple belt who's wearing a blue belt today, Casey Miles. Casey. Hi. We're going to be going over lesson plan one of showing the basics. The basics will be maintenance of guard and breaking the guard. Our first primary guard break is just staying in perfect position and allowing our partner to get frustrated or to get fatigued and have to recross their ankles. And our guard breaks are not going to full passes. Instead, we're staying in position and keeping our partners in duress. We're keeping their body strained so they can't recover and they're not thinking properly. Down on your back, sir. In this position, there's positions that he wants to be in. He wants his legs way up here. He wants me pulled down and tight. I want him I want, if he wants his legs up there, I want his legs down. If he was sitting up, I want him flat. I'm gonna keep my hands by the belt. I can grab the pants, I can grab the belt. I prefer to push on the hips. My elbows are not gonna be in. In means I'm trying to break the guard open. Back means I'm trying to hold position. My butt is gonna be on my heels. My weight is gonna be on my toes. My knees are open to a 45 degree angle. My hips are facing my opponent at all times. If he circles, keep your legs locked, sir, and like move, nice. Now look, when he moves to this angle, his legs are pulling me off. And it's my job not to post on the mat and to reposition. It's positioning on his body and moving. Wherever he goes, I go, staying square. Now, his legs will get fatigued or he will end up getting frustrated and want to post on the mat. When he does that, when I feel his legs up, that's when my knee is gonna come up. If my partner builds up like this, I wanna take my forehead and pull him back flat. I definitely don't wanna give up grips and things like this, so I'm always fighting position, keeping him flat. When I feel the legs open, I'm going to rock back. Now, if you look at my left foot, it does not step up. It stays in position and my knee is gonna rotate back as my elbow comes in and my body rotates back. Now, I'm gonna step in, drive my knee to the mat. My feet come together and they pray as my butt goes back on my heels. My hand can block the underhook and block the bicep or can humble the underhook. But I don't wanna be driving in like this having a gap here where his leg can hook my leg. I don't want that. I want to keep my feet connected and my butt back, blocking his shoulder, keeping him nice and tired. So guard break number one should be your primary guard break. And the reason it should be your primary guard break is because it's me blocking position, waiting for my opponent to relinquish position by opening their legs, getting frustrated, fatigue. These are all important things. This is the most important guard break because it keeps you out of trouble, it keeps you him from being able to attack submissions and stuff because you're blocking the position. Hands on the stomach, elbows back, legs open, head up. Where he moves, I move. Eventually he gets frustrated, the legs open. That, at that point, my elbow comes back. I rock back on my foot now. When my elbow is to my knee, I step in, crowding his position, drive that knee down to the mat. As that knee drives down to the mat, I take my other foot and I pray with my soles of my feet together, keeping my weight back on my heels, looking to pummel this underhook and block this bicep. And that is guard break number one.